welcome to this introduction video to Very Close Piano from Inui Samples. After finding out the raw sound material, we will look around at the interface and we will finish by the exclusive modules of Very Close Piano. Very Close Piano offers three microphone positions hammer, tail and room. The two first positions are exclusive to Very Close Piano, although the room one is more classic. Hammer samples have been recorded with a large membrane hypercarrier dynamic microphone set just above the hammer of the recorded note. For instance, with this bass C, the microphone is set just above its hammer. Yet, while recording this second note hammer position, we change the microphone position to put it above its hammer. And now, some examples, different range and different velocity, with a hammer position. We use the same technique with a static cardioid mic standing one inch above the string tail of the recorded note. And now the same examples, but with a tail position. Besides both these very unique close micing positions, Very Close Piano offers an AB ambience position named Room. It's been designed to facilitate the mixing of your Very Close Piano sounds or get a softer render, a wider stereo, or to have a more complex multi-channel mix, for example, using the close miking in front and the AB in the back. It's a very neutral take recorded with a short membrane static omnicouple. The same example again with the room position. Very good. Now that we found out the three main microphone positions, we will listen to them one after the other to compare. Hammer position. Tail position. and room position. You must have noticed that hammer and tail positions are mono when the room position is stereo. Let's now have a look at the interface and all the available settings. You have three main parts, a mixing part with three tracks, hammer, tail and room, an X-fade process, exclusive to very close piano, and a panel with different settings. In the mixing console, every track has this red light that loads or unloads the samples to refresh and save memory, a classic gain fader, and a pan knob, as well as a solo and mute switch. For each one of these tracks, Very Close Piano offers microphone delay. Click on the V button to switch it on. And then you can move the launching of these samples from minus 6 milliseconds to plus 6 milliseconds. 6 milliseconds being the time that sound naturally takes to travel 2 meters. Let's see how it works with the hammer and tail microphone positions. So I'm gonna pan the hammer left and the tail right. And now playing with the phase delay, I'll get a wider stereo. You have endless phase possibilities so that you can just get the exact sound you're wishing for. While I'm here, I show you the preset zone. So you can reinitialize the presets. 
mixing zones, fading zones or setting zones. You also have some presets to have a first ground and have uh, presets that already give you some sound ideas. Now we go with the setting board and we will pay attention on the X fade for the ending of this video. So you have auto pan options for hammer and tail positions. Let's try it with the tail position. Now the tail track is centered in the pan, so we, when we play it centered. Let's activate the tail auto pan, click an in switch button. From now on, the bass sounds will be lefter and the high pitch sound will be righter. There are three intensity settings, soft, so it's rather centered, medium or hard. And with this hard mode, the bassiest pitch tone is on the extreme left pan and the highest pitch is on the extreme right pan. Check out also the invert button so that the bass notes would be on the right speaker and the high pitch would be on the left speaker. You can also here launch a neighbor run robin that will use the neighbor notes in case you have uh, unpleasant repetitions of notes. And here you have the ADSR envelope, attack, delay, sustain, release, applyable on all the tracks and all the notes. And to finish with this board, you have the VCA controller that controls all tracks volume in one action. Now that we have met the two standard boards, we are going to meet the X-Fade processor. X-Fade has been developed especially for very close piano and that's most likely the best use you can make of this instrument. Once you click it in to activate, you can define the microphone positions that will compose the attack and tail of every note. Let me show you with the hammer left and the tail right. Here we define the tracks that will be played on the attack of the note and the tail of the note on this side. I decide that the hammer will be attack and the tail will be on the tail. You can notice that the sound goes from left to right and the sound itself changes between the hammer sound position to the tail sound position. All combinations are possible, let's see another example with the room position added on the attack as well as the tail of the note. As the room is stereo and centered, it of course reduces the panning effect, which gives a more unified feeling to this note. But for now I'll switch the room position off, so we can have more expressive examples using two new settings of the X-Fade process. The location parameter defines when the tail sound takes over the attack sound. So I'll start with the zero second position minimum. And I now turn it to three seconds so we can hear the difference. Very good. So now back to zero and let's find out the length button. The length button defines the fading time between the attack tracks and the tail tracks. Here with a preset. And now I'm gonna make this fading time up to three seconds. You are now free to open perspectives and imagination to see all the possibilities of this X-Fade process for your compositions and sound creations. And for further information, you can here download the instruction manual and feel free to ask your questions in the comments of this video. Thanks for watching and I shall wish you very inspired creations.